Hi, I'm Ashley. My dad doesn't know that I'm taking over his vlog today, but I wanted to do Disney secrets. So what you, what you want? What you, what you want? First, I'm going to do Magic Kingdom because that's like the main Disney park. Um, the first secret is when you're on Big Thunder Mountain and you come out um, once you get off, if you look over to your side, there's a cutout of Tinkerbell's side in uh, one of the rocks and it actually looks just like Tinkerbell. It's not like, sometimes like it'll just like be, like, oh, people say it's like her, but it doesn't look like her, but it's actually just like, really looks like her. So you'll see it if, you'll know if you see it. It's really cool. The next one is when you go to Liberty Square, right near um, where the Haunted Mansion is and all that. The shutters, if you look up at the buildings, they look like they're crooked. And it's not like a mistake. They made it that way because the people, uh, when it was the war back then, they took the metal that you'd use to hang up the shutters and they'd melt it down and use it for other things. And they used to hang them on with leather straps so they'd appear crooked. And that's why they're crooked in Liberty Square. I have a couple about the Haunted Mansion. The first one is when you come out or when you're going into the Haunted Mansion where the horse is without the horse, the invisible horse, there's a ring that's like in the cement and it's there to look like the horse trampled the ring into the ground. And the next one is when you come out of the stretching room and you look over, there's a desk with a dictionary on it and the dictionary is open to the word um, death, but it's uh, kind of hard to see because there's like a railing around it but if you look, you'll be able to see it. My next one is about Splash Mountain, where in, you're coming um, and you're just about to drop, there's a gopher. There was. A gopher, some people think that he's like sneezing, but he's actually saying FSU for Florida State University because uh, one of the people that coded it uh, went to Florida State University, so he just made the gopher say FSU. On the Jungle Cruise, there's uh, the tribesmen, and usually the skipper will say like, oh, they're uh, at a Britney Spears concert or Justin Bieber concert, so it's kind of hard to hear. But one of them's chanting, I love disco. Um, I know that I watched a video and it said on the Keys to the Kingdom tour that I stopped the boat and you can actually hear this uh, person chanting, so he actually does say that. Oh, another one is uh, when you're by the castle, if you like, sit by the castle, you can hear Stitch uh, whispering, I'm hiding, which is from the ride when they show Stitch climbing up the castle. So that's really cool. I've never actually gotten to hear that one, but I really want to because that sounds really cool. The other one is when you're on It's a Small World, there's only one country that actually has the name of the country and it's Mexico right behind like the pinata. It says Mexico. So that's really cool because I didn't know that. I mean, some of the countries you can actually tell what they are. Some of them it's kind of hard to tell, but I didn't know that that was the only one that had the name. Um, the next part that I'm going to talk about is Epcot. Um, in Epcot, the sidewalks are a special color. Disney like had the color, I think it's like Kodak Red or something like that. And the color is, uh, it makes your eyes like see the grass as greener. So the grass isn't actually that green. It just makes it look that way and that's why they have like the flower um, festival there, the garden one where they have all the topiaries because it makes it look greener. Also there are um, lights that light up in the sidewalk at night, um, like when the parks open really late you can see the um, lights in the sidewalk and there's like dragonflies in the trees that light up and that's really cool. Like at uh, Magic Kingdom they have little lights in the trees but here they're actually in the ground. Also when you're on Soarin', uh, when they do the little like video where they show the guy taking off his Mickey hat and putting it under when they're telling you all the ride rules and stuff, it says that your flight number is 5505, which is because the ride opened on May 5th, 2005, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that. I knew the flight number and everything, but I didn't know that it opened on that day, so that's pretty cool. And then my last park's going to be Hollywood Studios. Um, th when you're going on the Muppets 3D, um, we were waiting in line one time. There was nobody else. It was like a really not a busy day. It was like not the, not so many people there. So we were the only like people waiting in line, and we had to wait for the other show to get done. So um, I noticed the door and it said 
the key is under the mat. So I asked the cast member standing there, is the key actually under the mat? And she told me to go look and I lifted up the mat and there's actually like a key glued to the ground under the mat, which was really cool because I'd never heard of it before and I found it out by myself, which was cool. Um, another one is when you're in the waiting room for the Muppets 3D. They have a lot of like jokes and stuff. One of them is uh, there's a net full of green jello which is uh, to hint at the um, Imagineer, Annette Funicello. Annette full of jello, Annette Funicello. So that was kind of cool. Um, and also there's a box and it says Tutti Fruities and it's a bunch of flat fruit, so Tutti instead of Tutti, which is cool too, cause that one I saw on my own too. Uh, so the Muppets 3D has a lot of stuff like that. Um, I don't have anything for Animal Kingdom because really I haven't been there a lot and there's really not that much that I know about that park. But those are my secrets. I hope you like them and bye! What you want?